a great life philosophy that is being completely misunderstood. And this is so, so crucial because we lived over centuries believing this, falling into this trap. And today in this video, I want to share what is this misinterpretation? What was it really pointing to and how do we utilize this? And this is this is about our lives. This is about the meaning, the purpose of our lives. So let's dive right in. A friend of mine was going through a deep experience, an experience of channeling, of experience of receiving, and there were uh, several, several parts to this, but one, one of the things that one of these big ahas that came to this person during this process was suffering and pain. All life is suffering and pain. And I asked why as I was facilitating that experience for them. And they go, because that's the purpose of life. And there was more to it. The third one was love. But that emphasis, life is suffering and pain right? And the same is said in the Buddhist tradition, right? All life is suffering. And this concept is so misunderstood. And as um, my friend came out of this experience, he saw because I was writing some notes, um, and he saw that and he goes, Oh, we'll see, that's what it is. And I was like, No, 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 you misinterpret because I could read his energy during that process. And it's not like, Oh, you're supposed to suffer here. And you're supposed to experience pain in this lifetime. This concept is very, very much misunderstood and I want to clarify what does that really mean as what I received through my guidance during that friend's experience as I received um, that guidance for him, but really it was for the collective. It was to clear this misunderstanding. Einstein had this beautiful quote. He said, one of the most important questions you can ask yourself is whether you live in a hostile universe or a friendly one. Because your perception determines your reality, right? How you see the world. Think of it even as in one person. When you have, um, there's a person in your life who you just see as an antagonist. They're out to get me. You know, they're always uh, just picking out what's wrong in my life and what I'm doing wrong or what I'm saying wrong. And even if that person would say something kind, right? You would go into... What did they want, right? Because your lens, your filter is set on where is this person a threat? Where do I look for um, ways in which this person is not genuine or is out to get me or is out to hurt me or is out to harm me? So no matter what they do, your ego will be on defense. And it's the same as it is with one person. It is the same about life. Generally, this applies to life on a greater scale. So when we see life as hostile, when we see life is out to get me, when we see nothing's working out for me, you're like, oh, I hope this works out. We're in this begging of life, right? We're the beggar. We're asking. And it's not that asking is the begging, but we're in this position of, oh, please, you know, make this work. Or I hope, or you're like at the mercy of life who's not there supporting you. And it's a very different energy. So pain and suffering. How does that come in, right? Because if we go into, yeah, but all in several traditions, right, taught about this. And an interesting thing that came with my guidance as um, I saw that the pain and suffering aspect was that, you know, in Christianity, it was all about, well, you have to suffer in this lifetime so that after your death, you can experience heaven. So like the more you suffer in this lifetime, um, the more likely you are to enjoy the afterlife. And that was a misinterpretation in the sense that, yes, it is true. All these traditions are true that the pain and suffering is the meaning of life, is the point of life, but here is the misinterpretation, misunderstanding. The pain and suffering is good. In a sense, when you're in an amusement park, people go to an amusement park, people pay money to go to an amusement park, to go on roller coasters. 
Is it because roller coasters just go up and you just kind of like slowly swirl around and, you know, get to look around? No. You pay to get on a roller coaster because it goes up and you have that anticipation. It goes down and it goes up again and it goes down. And that's the roller and that's the fun and that's the thrill. But what we get stuck on is pain and suffering and misery. In a sense that, oh, that's bad. Not understanding that in a sense we came here to experience that. Not we came here to be miserable. We came here to experience the ups and the downs. And that's the thrill. Not, ugh, why am I stuck in this? Like, oh, this is an opportunity for me to work with my ego. This is an opportunity for me to connect with myself. This is an opportunity um, for me to tune back into wholeness, to God, life, source, consciousness. To remember those aspects. So every time I'm off track, it's not like, oh no, it's so dark here and I'm off track. It's like, oh my God, yes, I get to love myself through this. I get to hold myself through this. I get to come back and I get to feel the thrill of that contrast. You can't see white without knowing black because of the contrast. You wouldn't experience light if you didn't have the idea of darkness, the concept. And in the non-physical, because it's so high frequency, they can't, they, it, they can't, they don't have those ups and downs. Notice how you're, when you're in a meditative state, you could be at the worst time in your life, and then you tune into this deep meditative state, and there's just this loving energy. God lies for his consciousness, just holding you, loving you. Unconditional acceptance, like you can never go wrong. Everything you do is perfect. That is the default of that realm. That is what you're going to come back to. That is what you came from. But you didn't come here as a, oh, okay, I would have been punished and I'm now in hell. You came here as, oh my God, I get to experience this. I get to be in the world that takes, mm, not time, takes alignment, attunement to manifest that which I want. It doesn't come instantly. I'm in the reality where I have an ego, an inner critic that brings me down. And that's a good thing. And I'm challenging right now as I'm speaking and you can see I'm, I'm talking about suffering and pain and I'm smiling so wide because I'm feeling those energies of how those in the non-physical view it. That's the thrill. You came to the amusement park. You came to experience the roller coaster. Not because you're stuck here. Not because it's a horrible experience for those who don't like roller coasters listening to me here. But because you were so excited. So as my friend said, you know, what, what, what are those, the meaning of life, the purpose? They said suffering, pain, love. And not, I'm going to get stuck in those energies, those first two. But I get to experience them. And how freaking fun is it? How freaking phenomenal and amazing it is to do that. So on this note, what do you hear me say down below, first of all? What's resonating with you? What's landing? And one of the things that I want to bring in here is a container where we learn how to, how to manifest, how to accelerate those manifestations and on so many different levels because it takes alignment. It takes um, aligning yourself on the physical, on the emotional, on the mental, on the spiritual levels to manifest really quickly that which you want in your reality. And there's going to be a link below. It's called the Manifestation Accelerator a course that uh, I am launching very fresh and then just put so much knowledge into it. What does it really take to manifest your reality in an accelerated way? Because I've had the most phenomenal year last year and I was just blown away by how is this happening? How is this manifesting and understanding 
what really worked what worked to get me here and this is all all of that knowledge years of experience of my own experience of working with clients seeing those common threads those common patterns what worked what didn't and i put all of that in a course and there are also going to be live calls in that course to support you on your path so definitely check out the link and uh i will see you in the next one